Excellent! DDR4 memory. It's new and it's fast, and I have a G-Skill RipJaws 4 quad channel 4x4 gigabyte 2666 speed kit right here. This is my Haswell EX99 platform video all about DDR4 memory, and I welcome you to also check out my CPU and motherboard videos, which feature JJ. DDR4 is the fourth generation SD RAM standard agreed upon by the JDEC Council of Memory Manufacturers, and X99 is the first consumer PC platform that uses it. I'll assume that you already know that memory is very fast but non-permanent storage that your computer uses as a resource pool to store data for actively running programs and services, and move on to what DDR4 actually brings to the table. The three key improvements in DDR4 are power consumption, data transfer speed, and density. For power consumption improvement, DDR4 uses 20% less electrical power than DDR3, operating at 1.2 volts instead of 1.5. DDR4 also has support for a special new deep power down mode that can reduce standby power consumption by 40 to 50%. This will actually be extremely helpful for servers because they use many memories and consume a lot of power. As for transfer speed, well, DDR4 on X99 starts at 2133 speed stock and already manufacturers like G-Skill have kits with speeds up to 3200. Although manufacturing processes still need to be refined, we should eventually see speeds hit 4000 and beyond. Density is a benefit that we won't see immediately, but there's a lot of potential there. This is a 16 gigabyte kit, for example, which is already pretty much a standard configuration with DDR3, but with double the density and the ability for DDR4 to support eight dies per package instead of four, Theoretically, the standard can actually support up to 512 gigabytes per module, but again, the manufacturing needs to mature, although 16 gigabyte and 32 gigabyte DIMMs are really not out of the question in the near future. Here's a closer look at the RipJaws 4 kit, and I do want to point out that this is also available in blue and black, as well as the red that you see here. These have a module height of 40 millimeters and also feature XMP 2.0 support to help you easily reach their rated speeds. At 2666, these modules have a nice speed boost over stock 2133 sticks, as well as timings of 15, 15, 15, 35. Physically, DDR modules have a 288-pin edge connector, which is physically incompatible with the 240-pin layout from DDR3. Apart from that, you'll find them to be physically very similar, and installation remains one of the easier tasks in building a PC. Some have questioned whether DDR4 memory is useful for a desktop PC, given that most current generation systems don't really see much of a benefit in increased memory speeds beyond about 1866 on DDR3. But X99 is Intel's enthusiast platform, and I don't really see folks investing in this unless they're actually running enterprise level type applications that gain a benefit from it, or they're just crazy PC junkies like you and me who appreciate every small benchmark bump that a new technology can provide. Unfortunately, due to a spike in demand and the inevitably slow ramp up time in DDR4 memory production, this will be a premium product with a very high price tag in the first year or so. We will see it level out over time though, and we can expect price parity with DDR3 in about 2016. So what do you think of DDR4? If you're going for X99, it's a must have, but do you think the benefits are worth it? Let me know in the comments section. Like and share this video if you have learned anything useful. Check out my CPU and motherboard videos for more Haswell E content. Check out Kyle's channel, of course, for a full X99 build. And as always, thank you for watching.